Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are The Pakistan government has sought the extension of Mumbai attack mastermind and JUD chief Hafiz Saeed's detention under the public safety law. Two days earlier, it had withdrawn its application to prolong his house arrest under the anti-terrorism law. Eating out at restaurants may become cheaper once again. The finance ministry is favoring a decline in GST charge on AC restaurants. Consumer complaints have risen over higher restaurants bill since GST rollout in July earlier this year. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has said that the Taj Mahal in Agra was a part of Indian heritage. He made the comment as a damage control exercise after BJP MLA's comments on the Taj Mahal sparked outrage. Sangeet Som had called the monument a blot on the Indian culture. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has made a veiled attack on the Congress for turning its back on the Indian heritage after independence. He warned that nations that forget their heritage lose their identity. The BJP has secured a massive win in Gram Panchayats of Maharashtra with 1,311 seats. The party gained a huge support from rural Maharashtra as well. The Shiv Sena received 295 seats, Congress 312, the NCP 297 and others 453. PM Modi expressed gratitude towards the people of Maharashtra. After an anxious wait of over five months, Maharashtra farmers will get a Diwali gift in the form of loan waivers from 18th October. Despite it being a huge burden on the state exchequer, CM Devendra Fadnavis made it clear that providing relief to the farmers was a top priority. BJP President Amit Shah has warned that Kerala's ruling party will be wiped out if the political violence does not stop. He said that since the formation of the left government, as many as 13 BJP RSS workers had been killed in the state. The Congress has said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi can conduct any investigation to explain alleged links of party President Sonia Gandhi's son-in-law Robert Vadra with armed dealer Sanjay Bhandari. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman had earlier questioned the silence of the Congress leadership on the issue. The life ban imposed by the BCCI on former Team India pacer S. Trishan will stay. The Kerala High Court has said that Trishan will have to stay away from all cricket activity conducted by the BCCI. He was charged with spot fixing during the 2013 IPL. Megastar Amitabh Bachchan says that during festivals, he always tries to keep himself free to spend time with his family. This Diwali, his family is not likely to celebrate the festival with a grand party as his daughter-in-law and actress Aishwarya Rai's father passed away earlier this year. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from America, Gujarat and Punjab follows.